Vincent the Swartig doing some multi species fishing. We've got Ponco breadcrumb pack bait for carp. Got one spin cast rod, one spinning rod. And my wife is using garlic warps. Say hi. Hi. Now we're going to see if we catch anything. It's kind of windy. Sorry about the wind noise. I'm using a hero session, an old one. I've got some catfish bait in the car if I choose to get desperate and throw out a fourth rod. Well, I think I will. So let's see what we catch. Okay, I think we got some. There we go. We're on. We're on, we're on, we're on. First fish of the trip. Doesn't feel too shabby. Oh. That is a nice channel cat. And it looks like it's got some eggs in it, so we didn't intend on keeping any fish today anyway, so. We're gonna let her go, but you can see, nice fish. All right, on to the next one. Okay, I decided to put out the 15 foot rod right here, and I'm using a bucket style of rod holder. I learned that one off of Catfish Dave. And so far, nothing, nothing else, but this wind is kind of killer. It seems like it's even shift direction a little bit. My wife is using garlic scented worms and she's only had one bite. So, but for her, the wind is great because it'll carry it more towards that structure over there. Hopefully something's hiding in it. But we're gonna keep right on going. So let's go over some gear real quick. Here I've got a Berkley Fusion spin cast reel. Bought it years ago at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. I think they still sell them. It's a decent reel. It does the job. And then I have a Shakespeare combo. I picked it up at Corpus Christi, I think in 2019, to go fishing with. It's not bad either. It's a cheap little combo. The 15 foot rod is an Akuma. And the reel is a pin. An old one. It was used for surf fishing by my parents. I've got braid on it. I think it's 30 pound. Chinese braided line. It works. It's cheap. Kind of noticed the theme here. Cheap. I don't have a ton of money to spend on fishing, so... You save money where you can. think there was anything on it. Alright, I'm going to cast this one back out. As you can see the bait I'm using, just breadcrumbs, corn, and jello.
gonna stick it right there. Hopefully this ball doesn't fall apart when I cast. Because this rod is huge. This is how we're gonna go with the wind. And it blew apart. Set it right back on the fucking style of rod holder.